Hey YouTube, it's the Unknown Arborist. I'm out here on Thanksgiving, uh, trying to get my kids' four-wheelers going for them. They haven't been ridden in a while. I guess I left the gas on this four-wheeler here, and this is about the third time this has done it to me. Um, it seems to have like a little drip down into the carburetor, and, and it gets clogged up on me. And every time I got to pull that carburetor out, clean it, and put it back in, and I'm just really tired of doing that. So. I went ahead and, and I tried something that came to mind and to see if it worked after about an hour of messing with it. Finally I, I pulled it out and tried it and it fired right up for me. So if you got a problem with a clogged carburetor or fuel in there that gelled up on you or something and clogged up your jets, um, go ahead and try this and thing fired right up for me so it should work for you too. Four wheelers, lawn mowers, chainsaws, whatever you got, go ahead and give it a shot better than pulling that carburetor off and cleaning it so might as well try this first if you look down here this is the fuel line going into the carburetor and so I went ahead and took it off just like that and this goes down in here down where the float is and then it goes up through the jets into the carb into the motor and so I just grabbed one of these simple air air master use it for filling up tires you can use it for filling up balls all kinds of stuff I don't have anything special on it just the end right there that goes on a valve stem and I put it right here under the carburetor right where the fuel goes in the fuel inlet and I clamped it down and then I just went ahead and started pumping not too hard but I put some pressure on it so that way it pushed down into the carburetor then clear out those valves and actually I started feeling it a little less pressure every time I kind of pushed down and I was like you know what I think that might have done something so that air went in there and it pushed through down the float bowl and went up there and cleaned out the the jets for me and then I just went ahead and put the fuel back on and turned it on and then I tried to crank it one more time, just, okay, I'm gonna try this before I have to pull this carburetor off. Whoa, it started. Can you believe that? That saved you a whole bunch of time. So, hey, don't be scared to give it a shot. It actually worked for me and I'm sure it'll work for you too. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving and thanks for watching.